This is a video I want to make a review about the Cambridge Cameo with the Apocrypha. You know, a lot of people do reviews about Bibles and they don't go in depth with it. You know, what's the important one? This is the 1611 right here, the original edition. Got 80 books. This is the Cambridge Cameo. It's like the, the King James 1611, but it's smaller and not, it's not as big. And that's, that's what I like about it. With these, I had two of these. And the back break, as you can see, you know, they get old. And I don't really like that. I get like this after use because I'll I be in my word, you know. The Cambridge Cameo came in this little piece. That's how I look. All leather calf skin. Put that over there. Now, see, it's not as big as the 1611. But it references the 1611 exactly. You know, this is the one to have. This book hit me, cost me around like 180. This one is like 30 bucks on Amazon. This one like 180 on Amazon plus tax. It'll probably be like about like 200 bucks. But I'm gonna show you the the similarities with the 1611 King James with the the Cambridge Cameo with the Apocrypha. See any book that's made. After 1611, and it don't have an apocrypha in it, we want to look into it. Okay. This is 1611, which it has the apocrypha in it. And this is what a lot of people don't do when they do their reviews. Go to the table of contents because we want to know if it has the apocrypha. If it doesn't have the apocrypha, I wouldn't look, read it. Let me get to it. Here we go. This is how I look. This is the table of contents. The Old Testament, the Apocrypha, and the New Testament. I always reference that. Most Bibles don't have this. If it don't have the Apocrypha in it, I wouldn't even read it. Okay, Cambridge Cameo. It's not big with the Apocrypha. It's not big, it's small, I like it. Got the leather calf skin. Now, the apocrypha, let you know. We gotta get the table of context. Here we go. Old Testament. Apocrypha. New Testament. See? Well, the reason we say that, because a lot of stuff that's in Apocrypha reference off the, the Old Testament. Because Apocrypha is a part of the Old Testament. And there's certain books that's in the Old Testament that's reference to the Apocrypha. If it's not in there, how could you know the Old, the Old Testament? Watch here, I'll show you. Like the book of Esther, right? Let's go to Esther. Perfect example. The book of Esther. There she go. Esther, right? This is the book of Esther. I'll show you in the 1611 too. The book of Esther. This is the book of Esther, right? Esther chapter 10. See, it got 10 chapters, right? And then the book of Job start. This is in most all Bibles that don't have the Apocrypha. Esther got ch chapter 10, three verses. But real Esther got 16 chapters. See, if you don't subscribe to the Apocrypha, you will know that. This chapter got, six, I think, 10 verses to it. But there's only one place you'll find it. In the Apocrypha. Let's go to it. Yeah. Let's go to it. This is the Apocrypha. Tobit. Judah. Book of Esther. See? Right here. The additions. This is Judah. This is the Apocrypha. The book of Esther. See? Part of the 10th chapter after the Greek. This this would be verse 4. Because remember, 10. This chapter 10, they go to. You 
got 13 verses, then chapter 11. It's only in Apocrypha. And this is why they took it out. Because it references stuff that people don't want to know. And the nations that were assembled to destroy the name of the Jews. And my nation, this is Israel, which cried unto God and were saved. For the Lord hath saved his people. And the Lord hath delivered us from all those evils. And God hath wrought signs and great wonders which have not been done among the Gentiles. This is why they took this out. Because it say who God's people are. Israel. And you know, that's what they want to hide. Just like in the 1611. Let's go to Esther. It's a little bigger. But I will only reference these two Bibles. No other one. If it don't have that Parker fit in it, I won't read it. Chapter 10. Uh, here, here we go. That's 9. This is chapter 10. Same thing in 1611. Chapter 10. Three verses. That's the end. And that's where you jump into the Apocrypha. That's a Sirach, which is Sirach. That's where they got the name Jesus from. That's a whole nother video. But look, Esther. So there's Judah. And I'm trying to hold the book of Esther from where it ended at. See, a lot of Bibles in on the t chapter 10, verse 3. Then you got to jump in the Apocrypha. To get the additions of Esther and the Apocrypha. See this chapter 10. This verse 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 verses. And that's when 11 start. Remember, Esther got 16 chapters. That's Job 15. This still Esther. Esther got 16 chapters. 16. It's his last book of Esther. Then the wisdom of Solomon. See, these books that they took out, that they, and my, the question is, why would they take them out? Why? Well, I'll show you why. Because he goes in depth who the children of Israel are, who God's people are. Not everybody. Same thing. And the nations, those that were assembled to destroy the name of the Jews. And my nation is this Israel. See? Which cried to Elohim and were saved. That's why they took it out. Because it said that. It, it cuts. It cuts and a lot of people are not going to like it. So between these two, 1611 KJV with the Apocrypha, Cambridge, KJV, Cambridge, Cambria with the Apocrypha. It's smaller, got two ribbons. It's not as big, but if, if it's not neither of these two and it don't have the Apocrypha, I will not read it at all. It's hiding something. So, or the cipher. They got the cipher. They got the book of Enoch, Jubilees, and Jasher in it. Now, that book is worth $300. You got that book. You'll be in. But I like this book. And what I want to know, I'm going to see who salvation is for. Let's see who salvation is for. 
Everybody say salvation. They don't know God's name is in this book. His real name. It's not Jehovah. It's Yah. You got to put some respect on it. Okay, Isaiah. We're going to see who salvation is for. Remember, God's people is the children of Israel. Nobody else. Let's see. Isaiah 45. Let's go to, let's go to chapter, uh, verse 46 and 13. Isaiah 46 and 13. It says, I bring them my righteousness, and it shall not be far off, and my salvation shall not tarry. And I will place salvation in Zion for Israel, my glory. That's who, that's who salvation is for Israel. Israel, Israel, Israel. If you're not a Hebrew Israelite, it's not for you. Let's go to four, let's go to uh, Isaiah 45 and 17. 45 and 17, which is the next phase over. Chapter 46, but this 45, verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with the everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. That's who the world is in John 3 16. See I precepted. That's the world. Israel. So when somebody tell you something different, it's like no. It's not. They got it wrong. And I love the smoke. Show on brothers.